Hello, and welcome to Account Basics Lesson 2. In this lesson, we're going to create an AWS account, and this will be a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to create an AWS account. And then at the end of the lesson, we will check in on our Project Omega requirements to make sure that we are fulfilling everything that needs to be done for Project Omega. So let's get started. To create an AWS account, the first thing you need to do is follow this link here to aws.amazon.com, which is currently where we are. We want to click on sign into the console. And here is where we're going to either sign in or create a new AWS account. So the first thing we need to do is input an email address that we want to use for the account. So that's a new email address that I just created for this entire course. I want to make sure to select I am a new user and then select sign in. This will take us to the login credentials form. So we want to go through and fill out this form. Then we need to create a password that we're going to use for our AWS account. We'll click on create account. For the contact information part of creating an account, we do at this point want to select on personal account. We're not creating a company account at this time. And then we'll fill in the information. Okay, so I did just jump ahead here and filled out all of my personal information. Obviously, I've blacked out the information so that everybody on the internet can't see my personal details. But just like I did, fill in the form and then we're going to click on create account and continue. Now, as noted over here, you will need a valid credit card in order to create an account. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be charged anything. If you remember from the previous lesson, I talked about AWS's free tier use offering. So as long as you stick and follow the free tier use guidelines, you will not be charged anything by AWS. And also during this course, we will show you how to put in a couple of alerts or fail safes to make sure that you don't go over a certain spending amount. So at this point, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to put in my credit card information and click continue and move on to the next process in this step. Next, we have to go through an identity verification process. Now here you need to put in the security check code and along with your phone number, and you're going to get a phone call from AWS. So I'm getting a call right now from AWS, and it is going to ask me to input this PIN number. Hello, this is an automated call from Amazon Web Services. Using the touchpad on your phone, please enter the four-digit PIN number that was displayed on your screen. You may also scan the Amazon Web Services to complete your registration. Thank you for your interest in Amazon Web Services. Great, now that I have received the phone call from AWS and input the PIN number, I am now verified and can move on to selecting my support plan. For this, just keep it as basic as that is part of the free tier option. But what the support plan is, is various levels of support that you can receive for AWS. And this is generally used for somebody that in their personal life is extensively using AWS or more likely for corporate or enterprise customers. Okay, we are now finished. The account has been created and all we have left to do now is sign into the AWS console using the credentials that we just created. So there's our email address and I'll just input the password and sign in. And there we go. We are now logged into AWS. This is our account and we are ready to start using AWS now. So lastly, for Project Omega, the first requirement that we had was to have an AWS account, and we did that. We created an AWS account, so we have fulfilled the Project Omega infrastructure requirements for this section, which is great. So we can now finish this lesson. Thank you for watching. You may now move on.